In this video we're going to multiply decimals uh, and keep in mind the order of operations so we've got to use PEMDAS. So here's page one, these two examples, page two, this example, page three, now these two examples, page four, this example, and then page five, this example. Okay. So we'll start on page one and um, if I'm doing 3.02 times 0 0.07 plus 8.8 .8, now please write that down real quick and, 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 and do it with me. Um, what do I do? I've got to keep in mind the order of operations. So let's go ahead and write out what that is again, in case you might have uh, forgotten. PEMDAS says we must start with, so we write PEMDAS. So we got to start with parentheses. So write it out again. I've written this many, many times, and that's why I remember it. So <laughs> you guys should try to do the same. Exponents multiply, add, uh, divide, add, subtract. Okay. So we start with parentheses, then we do exponents. The third thing is multiply or divide from left to right, going across the page. The fourth thing is add or subtract from uh, left to right. Okay. I don't think we'll have to worry about. I'm not sure if we'll have really have to worry about left to right in here. But in any case, it's parentheses, exponents, then you multiply or divide, whichever comes first. Then you add or subtract, whichever comes first from left to right. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the parentheses. What's in here? Okay. So we've got to quickly remember how to add. Um, have to add decimals. Now, hold on a second. When we're adding, we have to be careful about where the decimal points go because this is seven cents plus eight dollars and eighty cents, isn't it? Eight point eight is eight dollars eighty. So let's put, um, you know, if you eight point eight, and underneath that you want to add zero point zero seven. You have to have the decimal points underneath each other, don't you? And might as well put in a zero placeholder for, for the hundredths or the cents over here. Okay. So we add the cents together or the hundredths, we get seven, and then eight and zero is eight. The decimal points always line up when we're adding. It doesn't matter when you're multiplying, but when you're adding, you have to line up the decimal points, and then eight and, eight, eight and zero is eight. So um, what I have now, because I've added that, so what I have now is. Uh, 3.02 multiplied by 887, um, right? And I guess um, multiplying that, I'd probably like to put the 8.87 on the top and the 3.02 on the bottom and multiply. So by all means press pause and do this and see if you get the same thing. So oh, two times seven fourteen carry the one sixteen and one is seventeen carry the one seventeen again put down a zero placeholder and multiply by this guy zero times z seven is zero zero times that is zero zero times that is zero right it's a weird one now we need two placeholders and mul then multiply by the three okay. Three times seven twenty one carry the two. Three times eight twenty four and two twenty six and carry another two. Sheesh. Three times eight twenty four and carry another two twenty six. Then add these guys together. Okay, so we should get four and zero and zero is four. 7 and 0 and 0 is 7, 7, 0 and 1 is 8, 1, 0 and 6 is 7, and we get 6 and we get 2. So, do you remember what we have to do when we multiply with decimals? What do we do with the decimal point? We count the amount of places in the problem, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we've got to uh, move this decimal, move decimal point over 4 spaces in the answer, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we've got 26.7874.
Now my question to you is, does that make sense? That that would be the answer. If you were to kind of estimate this, uh, round round uh, 8.87, what is it approximately? 8.87 is approximately, well if you round, round to the nearest whole number, isn't it pretty much 9? And what's 3.02? Round that to the nearest whole number. Well, it's 3, isn't it? And what's 3 times 9? 27. So we got 26.7874. So that's very close to 27, isn't it? Right. So that is correct. Yep. Wait, well, I mean, it just helps you to, to see that. Okay. So by all means, please press pause and do this one by yourself. Right, press pause time. I'm going to do it pretty quickly. Okay. So so you can just catch your mistakes. So you've pressed pause, haven't you? You've tried it yourself. I'm going to do it real fast so you can catch your mistakes. Okay, so you should have gone 3.5 and then 0 0.02 and added, first of all. Do what's in the parentheses first. PEMDAS. Parentheses first, okay? Now, um, the decimal points here should have been underneath each other and you could put a zero here for that uh, hundredths place. So 0 and 2 is 2, 5 and 0 is 5, decimal point goes down here and 3. So we this should be 3.52. So you've, I'm going fast because you've already pressed pause and tried this, right? If not, please press pause and try it. Anyway, okay, so now I'm going this times this and I'm going to put, I would like to put uh, the 4 point, or the um, 3.52 on the top and the 4.05 in the bottom, I guess. Multiply 2 times, uh, 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 26, carry the 2, 15, uh, 6, oh no, I did a mistake, didn't I? 2, sorry, so 17, right? And then put down a placeholder 0, 0 times 2 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, 0 times that is 0. Put down 2, 0 placeholders and multiply by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 is 14. Add these guys up, and I get 0, and then 6, and then 5, and carry the 1, and then 2, and 4, and 1. Count the placeholder, uh, the decimal number of decimal places in the problem. 1, 2, um, 3, 4. Okay, and so we need 4 in the answer. 1, 2. 3, 4. Decimal point goes here. 14.256. And you don't have to put the 0 in the end. So 14.256. I kind of uh, checked this because this is this is close to kind of, you know, this is about 4. And this is actually closer to, to 3.5. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. And if you rounded that up, that would be 4 times 4 is 16. So yeah halfway it's 14 so th I mean this this looks right doesn't it okay page 2 we're gonna go 8.7 minus 0 0.5 times 8.7 plus 0 0.5 to begin with if I use PEMDAS what do I do first well you've got to go from left to right the first thing I see I see a parenthesis I've got to do this parenthesis calculate what's inside here and after I'm done with that, I'm going to calculate what's inside here. Okay. So, um, 8.7 minus um, 0.5. Put the decimal point underneath each other when we subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 8 minus 0 is 8. So that gives me 8.2. Now I've got to deal with this parentheses. 8.7. 0 0.5 and add them, okay? 5 and 7, 12, carry the 1. 8 and 1 is 9, I'm adding, so this is 9.2. So it's 8.2 times 9.2, I've got to multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 9, 18. Put down a placeholder 0 and multiply by 8. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1, 8, 9, 72, 173, and so we get 4, and then 4, carry the 1, and that's 5, and that's 7, and we've got 1, 
two decimal places in the problem, so one, two in the answer. Okay. So seventy five point four four is the answer, right? Seventy five point four four. And does that make sense? Well, eight point two is approximately eight. Nine point two is approximately nine, isn't it? And what's eight nines? 72, right? So it is, it's close to that, right? So um, press pause and see what you might do with this guy. And uh, uh, let's say, well, before you make a mistake, what for, what should we do first? Should we subtract first? Is that what comes first in PEMDAS? Subtract. You want to do that first? Are you kidding me? That's the last thing to do, right? <laughs> We've got to start with parentheses. I see parentheses, do you? Then we do exponents, then multiply or divide, then add or subtract. So I've got to start with the 5 plus 0 0.02. Okay, can you add these together? 5 plus 0 0.02. Okay, 5 is 5 point what? Right? Well, you could think 5.0 anyway or even zero zero because now you've got a, a tenth and a hundred spot and zero point zero two can go underneath that and you can add them right so two zero decimal point underneath it five okay so I've done parentheses now I have four minus zero point three and the parentheses became five point zero two now do you think I should subtract four minus zero point uh, three Subtract now? Are you kidding me? Hold on a second. Do we have a multiplication in there? Right? You've got to go parentheses. We did that. Exponents. There are no exponents. There's no squares or cubes, right? Then we have to multiply or divide from left to right. Do we have a multiplication anywhere? 3 times 3 multiplied by 5.02. So we have to do that next. Um, <coughs> I should just. Uh, or, or sorry, 0 0.3 times that, isn't it? I should just uh, put that here, 0 0.3 times that, right? Now, um, remember with multiplying, you don't have to line up the decimal points. Just with adding. When you add, you line up the decimal points, with multiplying, you don't have to. So go ahead and multiply that. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 5, 15. And now I can multiply with this 0 if I want to. 0 times that is 0, and I get a whole bunch of zeros, and we don't need to though, right? But I must count the number of decimal places in the question. 1, 2 in the problem. 1, 2, and then another one, 3. So 1, 2, 3. And put that amount in the, in the answer. 1, 2, 3. So 1, point five zero six so when I multiplied 0 0.3 times 5.02 didn't I get 1.506 and now it says 4 minus that doesn't it can you do that four minus one point Five zero six, and shouldn't we put in point zero 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 for the four, right? Now, press pause and try that. Do you remember how to do this? Okay, let's try that. Zero subtract six won't work. I need to carry from here, but th there's only zero there. There's nothing I can I can borrow. So I need to borrow from here, but there's nothing to borrow. So I need to borrow from here. So that becomes 3, and take a 1 over, and now we've got 10 here. So, but I still have to borrow over to here. So cross that out, and that becomes a 9, and one of those goes over, right? And I want to subtract, but I still have to borrow all the way to here. So cross that off, that becomes a 9, and bring 1 over. And now finally I can subtract, can't I? 10 minus 6, 4, 
9 minus 0, 9, 9 minus 5, 4, decimal point comes down, 3 minus 1, 2. Okay, so we get 2.494. Okay, let's try page 3. We've got 3.6 plus 10 times 1.7 all squared. Now, what do I do first? What do I do second? Let's have a look at the order of operations. PEMDAS. Okay, should we add first? 3.6 plus 10, should we add? That's all the way down here. No. We've got to do parentheses first, right? Now, can we calculate anything in here? No, because it's already done. Do we have any exponents? We do. We have a squared. That's an exponent, right? What's 1.7 squared? Let's try and figure that out. 1.7 squared is 1.7 squared is um, 1.7 times itself, isn't it? So we'll multiply that. 7 times 7, 7 times 7, 49, carry the 4, 7 times 1 is 7 and 4 is 11, put down a placeholder 0, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1, add 9, 8, 2, and what about the decimal point? We've got, we're multiplying, we've got 1, 2, uh, decimal places in the problem, so we're going to have 1, 2 in the answer. So 2.89, right? So the 1.7 squared becomes 2.89, so we have 3.6 plus 10 times multiplied by that, right? Now remember the squared is not applied to the 10. You don't square 10 and get 100 because the squared is just touching the parentheses and this parentheses is just holding the 1.7. So it was just the 1.7 squared, not the 10 squared, right? So do you remember how to multiply by 10 on a decimal? 10 times, if, a, if, if this pen cost $2.89, how much would 10 pens cost? Wouldn't you just move the decimal point one place over so it gets bigger? 10 times bigger would be 28.9, right? And now we just need to add, right? So 28.9, 3.6. When we're adding, we have to have the decimal points underneath each other, right? 9 and 6, 15, carry the 1. 4 and 8, 12, carry the 1, 3, decimal point underneath it. So, 32.5 is the answer, right? So by all means, press pause and try this one yourself. 400 times uh, 1 plus 0 0.23 squared. What do you do first? Adding exponents? or parentheses are multiplying. Which? Parentheses. You calculate what's in there. And there happens to be an addition in there. <laughs> well, we've got to do that first. 1 added to 0 0.23. Remember, 1 can be written 1.00. 1 unit, no tens, no hundredths, right? Add them up. We're adding, so we get 3, 2, decimal point 1, right? 1.23. So this becomes 1.23. And is that being squared? Right? 1.23 squared, isn't that 1.23 times itself? Right? So we've got to square that. Okay, so 3 times 3, 9. 
3 times 2, 6, 3 times 1, 3. Put down a placeholder 0, multiply by 2. 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 1, 2. You okay with that? Put down two placeholder zeros. Multiply by 1. 1 times 3, 3. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 1, 1. Add everything now. 9, 12, carry the 1. 4, and, 4 is 8, and 3 is 11, carry the 1. 5, 1. Now, where does the decimal point go? Well, let's see. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places in the problem, so we need 4 decimal places in the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1.5129. So this 1.23 squared became, <coughs> when I went 1.23 squared, I got 1.5129, but I still have to multiply that by 400, okay? 400 times that. I guess just, just always make sure, one thing to, to, I want to say is always make sure your multiplication dot is halfway um, between the numbers and the decimal point is down here. I guess we we probably, in, in cases like this, we probably want to use parentheses anyway, so we don't um, we don't confuse a multiplication dot with a decimal point. But anyway. Okay, so you got to go 400 times that guy, huh? Well, let's see. I guess we could do that. Um, 1.5129 times 400. Let's try that. 0 times 9. 0 times 9, 0. 0 times 2, 0. 0 times that, 0. 0 times everything is 0 on the top, right? Put down a placeholder 0, multiply by this 0. 0 times all of these things is 0, isn't it? Put down two placeholders and multiply by the 4. 4 nines, 36, carry the 3. 4 twos, 8 and 3 is 11, carry the 1. 4 ones is 4 and 1 is 5. Okay, 4 fives is 20, carry the 2. 4 ones is 4 and 2 is 6. Add everything up. Zero, zero, six, one, five, zero, six. How many decimal places do we need? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm, yes, I think that is correct actually. But uh, if not, then um, I've made a mistake and you got it right, right? 605.16. You can put the zeros on at the end, but you don't have to. You can just go 605.16. Or 605 and 16 watts. Just for fun. 605 and 16 tenths, hundredths, right? Okay, page three, page four, sorry, we've got all these guys. This one isn't too bad, I hope not, I hope. Gotta do parentheses, then exponents, multiply or divide or subtract. Well, let's see, should we do, um, you know what, just go ahead and press pause and see if you can get it and then check with me. Hey. Okay, so I'll go ahead and... Uh, do it now real quick so I hope you've tried it so 3.1 squared is 3.1 times itself 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 3, put down placeholder 0, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times that is 9, add them 1, uh, 6, 9 and I had 1, 2 decimal places in the question so it's 1, 2 in the answer 9.61 so this first guy is 9.61 when you multiply this, you should have got 1.44, and when you multiply this uh, last one, you should have got, you know, I'll just go ahead and do it, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 
4 times 4 is 6, carry the 1, 4 times 0 is 0 and 1, put down 0, 0 times everything is 0. You've got 1, 2 decimal places in the question, so you need 1, 2 in the answer, so that's 0.16 or 0 0.16, 0 0.16, right? So this guy becomes 0 0.16, and you've got to add all these guys up together. So line them all up. Uh, 9.61, 1 1.44, 0 0.16, add them up. When you're adding, your decimal points have to be in line. So this makes 11, carry the 1. This makes 12, carry the 1. This makes 11. Hope that's right, isn't it? So 11.21. Page 5. Find the product of 7 and the sum of 0 0.04 and 0 0.009. Now, that's a kind of a funny question. What you've got to do is see that this goes together, basically. So it's find the product of 7 and the sum of this. Okay? So first of all, we've got to get the sum of that, and just we're just going to use parentheses for fun because I'm going to write this. See, there's the sum of those two numbers. That's the sum. What's the product of seven and this? The sum is adding, isn't it? Sum means add. What does product mean? Product means add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Product. It means multiply, or you know, okay. So it's seven times this. So you just put a 7 beside the parentheses and that means multiply. I guess you could do that. So it's the product of 7 and the sum of these guys. Okay. So again we have to use uh, PEMDAS to figure it out. So I'm going to add 0 0.009 with 0 0.04. Remember I'm adding so the decimal points have to be underneath each other. And you can put in another zero here if you like, that's fine. So you get nine four zero zero point. Okay? So now my problem is seven times zero point zero four nine, right? So how do I multiply this by seven? Well you can just stick a seven down here and go ahead and multiply. So press pause and finish it please and check your answer. Now I'll do it. Seven nine sixty three carry the six. Four sevens twenty eight and six is thirty four carry the three. Seven zeros is zero and three is three. Seven zeros is zero. Nothing left to do. How should the decimal point go? Well, it, we have one, two, three decimal places in this multiplication problem. Okay. Obviously, you ignore this part. So we have three decimal places in the multiplication problem, so we need one, two, three of them in the answer. So 0 0.343 is the answer. Right?